<laughs> Thank you so Thank much, you. William. I think that's going to work. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what we were looking for. And oh. shout out to you and your family. Love you guys. Wish we could spend Christmas with you. And oh, yeah, we got another nail in the coffin. Yes. Um, just a little bit of background. Um, he was actually um, disfellowshipped or his... Um, disassociation letter was read in the first of November but because we just got notified within the past day or two we've got a full story uh, we've got some audio that we're going to use um, with this this brother but we're actually going to still put him in um, December because we've already got November tallied up but officially he was disfellowshipped in um, it was announced November 4th November 4th but we're going to put you right here and this in, is for Chris yeah. in Nashville. Right here. So we're going to just keep the tally going for um, December, even though it was officially November. Welcome to your freedom, Chris. Yes, brother. And thank you so much for sending us all this. Now, yeah. stay tuned for at the end, because we've actually got audio of a conversation he had with the elder. Yeah, which was very, um, very, you know, the response from the elder was like, nonchalant yeah okay yeah, no big fine. deal no problem type thing um, but if you listen to what the elder said um, when Chris is talking about how he's going to be treated by members of the congregation um, you know with the shunning policy the elder says well it's kind of up to them you know it's it, it's up to them and it's like well no it's it's not up to the individual Jehovah Witness as to whether yeah. you want to shun or not because we all know from past articles that if you associate with someone who's disassociated or disfellowship, you'll be disfellowshipped yourself. So I kind of wonder where the uh, where the thought process is of the elder. Yeah, who knows? Because as yeah, far as I know, every day. it's really not up to mm -mm. the you know witness. No. But uh, we also have his DA letter that we would like to read. Yes. Very so good. Thank you, Christopher, for letting us do yeah. this. It's it's actually our honor and our privilege to do this for you and we'll be uh, putting this up on the uh, website watchtower.exposed also we'll redact all the um, pertinent information yes so this is to the congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses Watchtower and Bible Tract Society official letter of resignation to whom it may concern I Christopher wish to inform you that I no longer wish to be known as one of Jehovah's Witnesses or in any way affiliated with the organization known publicly or otherwise as Jehovah's Witnesses and or the corporation known formally as Watchtower and Bible Tract Society, a.k.a. JW.org. <laughs> He's covered everything. Covered everything. Yeah, yes. even JW.org. Yes. I hereby tender my official resignation from the aforementioned parties, entities, and ask that my name be removed from any formal or informal roster or list of supporting members as well as any correlating materials. By way of my resignation, I hereby withdraw any consent on my part to be governed, instructed, advised, or counseled by said parties. <laughs> yep. I also hereby withdraw any form of support or endorsement for the agencies named herein. I further request that said parties and or anyone acting as an agent thereof no longer contact me directly through any form of communication regarding any relative matters pursuant hereto, but for through an attorney should that become appropriate in the future this will serve as your cease and desist demand <laughs> very good yes yeah that being said all formalities aside i would like to say that i see no point in wasting my time on trying to elaborate on or articulate to you my numerous valid reasons for having come to this decision as i am certain any attempt to communicate such will likely only fall on deaf ears <laughs> oh absolutely true <laughs> absolutely in light of the mountain of legitimate information and evidence available on the internet in this current day and age regarding all the harm that has been caused to children and families due to the many abuses of power and the gregarious negligence by the Washington Bible Attract Society and its agents as a direct result of their harmful policies, practices, and doctrines, I can only assume, and for good reason, that you and your members choose to perpetuate. Thank you. The That's status, what I'm here for. <laughs> yes. Thank you. The status quo out of willful ignorance. I find it impossible that you and your members can deny or ignore all the hard evidence of the mishandling of child sexual abuse 
cases within your organization, as well as the harmful effects of your disfellowshipping policy on families and children in your practice of child baptism, which in my opinion seems to indicate a wanton disregard for the sanctity of the family and the civil and human rights of minor children. Good point. Very good. Yep. Your practice of child baptiz baptism, of which I am a victim, there you go. Yep. which I personally believe constitutes a de facto form of ne negligent contracting with a minor, has had extremely harmful effects, ultimately resulting in severe depression and suicide in some cases as a result of being shunned by friends and family. This certainly also rings true in the case of anyone who simply chooses to no longer be one of Jehovah's Witnesses. Yes. Yeah. There are other concerns as well, too numerous to name, but as I say, I see no point in going into great detail as I am fully aware that substantial efforts have already been made by others in an attempt, a plea, for these dire issues to be resolved directly through the organization, yet have been met with thunderous silence and attempts on the part of Watchtower to deny and or sweep their transgressions under the rug, causing further pain to their victims. All I can say is may the weight of these in iniquities fall squarely on your shoulders and may they lie heavy on your conscience, collectively and individually. I speak to you as an organization and a body of members. If by some small miracle what I have said here in this letter has touched a chord with whomever, whomever might find themselves in the position of reading its contents, I implore you to please do some research, honest research outside of the Watchtower organization matrix. I know you to be wary of anything deemed apostate literature, but many of the cases to which I refer have been openly published by bona fide media sources and are common public knowledge. Your shunning policy alone, especially in view of your practice of child baptism, should be so blatantly obvious to you as being harmful to families and a form of child endangerment. I would think that that alone would be enough to motivate someone to reconsider the organization with which they have aligned themselves, especially since Watchtower is aware of these issues and has been for quite some time, yet does nothing to rectify them. That's all I have to say on the matter. Below I've listed such a few listed just a few resources just a few resources <laughs> there are also links on the sites to outreach programs that help recovering ex-witnesses who are victims of shunning and other harmful watch harm policies and practices i have also included a relevant news article about a heartbreaking story which i think perfectly illustrates what i've been talking about here sincerely christopher in nashville tennessee usa the resources he has is aawa Watchtower.exposed and jwstruggle.com. So, excellent letter. You know, and this is this is what I've been saying for quite some time, or at least since you know Kim and I have come to learn tap that the elders in the congregations know full well what's going on. They're not misled anymore. They're not ignorant to what's going on because. They're getting letter after letter after letter after letter of people that are disassociating themselves and they're given reasons why. There's 23 just in the month of November 2014 alone. That's 23 different congregations with 23 different bodies of elders that are reading these letters that are being sent. They're not ignorant no more to what's going on. This is a blatant control for power that's fed by fear. Fear of losing your family. Fear of losing a relationship with God. Oh, heaven forbid you leave Watchtower. You know what that means? You'll die at Armageddon. Newsflash. Christ resolved that issue when he died for us. That's no longer an issue. Jehovah's Witnesses, you have to learn to break through the fear that Watchtower is using to control you, just like Christopher. The internet, there is a wealth of information available to how Watchtower is manipulating people today. They've manipulated us for 42 years. Yeah. 
And I know exactly what Chris meant in his letter because our daughter Shiloh was baptized at 10 years old. Yeah. She had no idea what she was, you know, getting involved in. She had no idea who the governing body was. Hell, even at 16, when I was baptized, I didn't even know who the governing body was. Yeah. So, yeah, so it's just, Chris, thank you so much for um, allowing us to do this, sharing, sharing this. sharing it with the world. With the world. Um, there again, it'll be on uh, our website, Watchtower.expo. That way there, if someone wants to use it as a format for their disassociation letter, um, there's one or two more up there also, if I'm correcting. One, one or more. Two, one one yeah. more. And um, there again, we're, we would love to host more. Um, if there are more people willing to allow us to do that so that others that are waking up to tat can find strength and courage um, in these letters and to know that we're not alone. You're not alone. And we also want to thank the viewer. That was a great idea to have a full-size coffin here <laughs> and just take these DA letters and throw them in that coffin. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> great idea. And that reminds me, we were watching wrestling this afternoon, and uh, I believe the saying was um, when they were trash talking to one another, reminded me of Mikey. <laughs> when he gets up in the morning and his feet hit the floor, the devil says, Oh crap, he's up. He's up. <laughs> and then when Kim, when her head hits the pillow at night, the devil says, Thank God she went to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Chris, welcome to your freedom. Yes. And um, if there's anything else that Kim and I can do, um, you know, to help you uh, with information or anything, um, you know, we're at your disposal. Yeah. And, and that goes for else. everybody. You yeah. know, thank you so much, everybody. You know, because without you, we wouldn't have a YouTube channel. Yeah, so, exactly. You know, thank you for your support and thank you for all your Christmas cards. I mean, this has just been awesome. Yes. This has been awesome. I had to start and go over to the other wall. I've got them taped to the door jams and stuff and had to go to another door. So <laughs> thank you, everybody. And we love you all. And uh, just let us know if you're about to be disfellowshipped or a DA letter of your own. Yeah. And uh, we highly uh, recommend if there's any way you can record any of these. You know, yeah. We'll be more than happy. So the, yeah, the recording at the end is, um, what, just about three minutes, a little less than three minutes. And just, about three minutes. And just really listen to the elder on the end of the phone. It just, it's... Like, it's no big deal. Yeah, it's no big deal. You know, we get these letters all the time, so it just yeah, really shows. Yeah, you'd think they would be upset. Mm -hmm. You'd think they'd be upset, you know, losing another brother or sister. Yeah, but no. So, zombies. So, good night, everybody. Thanks for watching. Oh, and I just wanted to say oh. real quick, we're so excited. Our first apostate celeb. <laughs> I think we're going to get to meet Tony Prime face to face. Hey, I'm looking forward to a conversation with Dick Blabon, I'm telling you. <laughs> Actually, if I was Dick Blabon, I'd yeah, be shaking in yeah. my little booties. You remember Dick Blabon, what I did when I was throwing my tomahawk at the hot dog. Yeah, I could put you on that tomahawk block, too, and really scare the bejesus out of you. <laughs> so anyway, we're so excited and hope everything works out so that Tony can come spend Christmas with us. So you all have a happy holidays, and you have a great weekend. Hello? Hey, Terry. Oh, hey, Chris. Hey, how's it going, buddy? Pretty good. Pretty good. I guess you saw where I tried to call. Yeah, I did. Sorry, I was out. I just got in. A friend of mine's oh. in the hospital. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, what? You didn't understand what we were talking about? Uh, well, I just wasn't sure. You said Your email said something about we honor your request? Yes, about not, no longer being a witness. Okay, all right. Yeah, I just wanted to clarify that. But, yeah. Yes, yeah, so basically I just wanted to clarify that, that's all. Yeah, yeah, because that was what... You request, and it seemed like that you hadn't changed your mind. Yeah, no, I really hadn't, and uh, uh -huh. you know, and and it's been about three months. So of course, I was yeah. moving and all, but still, yeah, uh, it's probably yeah. best to just make it make it final. Then I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. and and I did send the letter out today anyway, so that okay. pretty much makes it final, I guess. Okay. Did you send it to the uh, congregation or? 
you know, I uh, wanted to be sure that y'all got it, and I didn't know when anybody would be at the hall, so I sent a copy to the hall, and uh, I sent a copy to you at your house. Okay. But it's, okay. Addre- it's addressed to you. Okay. Um, okay. And, and I did send a copy to Watchtower Headquarters, the record keeping, just uh, okay. You know, j- just to, to cover all my bases, you know what I mean? Okay, okay, well, that's uh, fine. But anyway, the, the reason I did send it to your house is... Uh, just to be sure that you get it, not because it was anything yeah. personal, you know? Yeah, I understand. Okay. I understand. Um, well, I guess that makes it official. So uh, just out of curiosity, do you, have, do you have any idea when they might uh, make the announcement then? Probably Tuesday night. Okay, so probably uh, tomorrow tomorrow, tomorrow night. night. Yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right, well, I guess there's okay. not, not really much else to say about it then. Okay. Um, okay, well, thanks for call me back oh sure sure and i mean uh, i did i did put a few thoughts in the letter just in case if you were interested you know what some of my reasons were so yeah well that's good i think the letter is pretty explanatory okay well that's good all right so i i assume then that i mean basically i I think it's reasonable to assume that then at this point uh I'll, i'll no longer be able to have association with anybody who's a witness then correct well that's basically the way that most, you know, brothers and sisters would take, you know. Right, right. Yeah, okay. I mean, that is still yeah. basically the, the policy, yeah. though, right? Yeah, that's, that's it. Uh-huh. Okay, that's what and I that, thought. It's, but, it's for them to decide, but... Sure. Okay. You no. Know. Yeah. Um, okay, but that is but it, but it is still the policy, though. It hasn't yeah. changed, to my yeah. knowledge. No, it's changed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well, yeah. you know, it is what okay. it is, you know. Okay. So, all right, and, uh, you know, like I say, it's nothing personal, and I wish you all the best, Terry. No, I, no, I, I don't take it personal. Okay, great. Nothing personal. All right, well, good talking with you again. Okay, okay, thanks for coming back. All right, take care, buddy. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye.